strangers keep actually calling Child Protective Services on an 11 year old drag queen kid. He performs as a drag queen, he's a kid. Here's the story, so his name is Desmond Napolis and he is better known by his drag name. Desmond is amazing. He first caught the drag bug while watching his mom, her name is Wendy, watch RuPaul's Drag Race. It was almost like he thought they were princesses or something, she says. And after that, he'd start taking things from around the house, like her mom's clothes, and put them on and walk around the house like it was a runway. So the mom said she just kind of decided to let him figure things out on his own, do it his own way after she talked to a therapist. Soon after that, he started making online videos. Take a look. You want to bring them to the pew? With this is the Desmond is Amazing episode. Our special guest, the and amazing Desmond, Hello. all the way from Brooklyn, drove through rush hour traffic to get here. Hot, 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 hot tea. It's 9.40 p.m. and he doesn't have to go to school tomorrow. Yeah. Desmond is the world's youngest club kid, and we challenge you as the people out there to find a younger club kid. Will they find one? Mm -mm. No. Okay, so that's when the call started in. Um, we're talking more than 200 open cases about Desmond at one point. And uh, the complaints are all treated seriously by authorities. So that means the family is subjected to home visits, and Desmond actually would often get pulled out of school for interviews with agents. None of the complaints have ever found any wrongdoing. But earlier this year, he was featured in a pride campaign for Converse. The call started all over again. And on top of that, his mom says that he's facing hate from right wing media sites. There you are. If we're now turning against theater kids, I would have been in a ton of trouble back as a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, like, I, honestly, in reading this story, there's some really inspiring things here. I like, like, the mother who's like, all right, my, my, uh, my son is, I, it doesn't even sound like, at least they're not discussing it as far as, dealing with identity issues, but it's an interest that her son has, talking to a therapist about it, if this is a healthy thing to indulge in. Honestly, to see a, a kid at the age of 11 turn and say, like, I wanna be an advocate for LGBTQ, like, I wanna give voice to a marginalized community. That's, like, I would call the, I'd call the feds on him because he sounds like he's, uh, he's, he's too far along. That kid's like 25, 26. <laughs> right. He's already been to a liberal arts college. He's already <laughs> activated. Like, there's some, I, I wanna know what he's drinking. So look, it's not just that they're calling child protective services, they're pretending that there's pedophilia or mm -hmm. exploitation and child abuse. Don't do that, man, just be a decent human being for a change. Unfortunately, there are good guys and bad guys in this country. So uh, the fact that the family has to constantly go through this is maddening. Yeah. Leave them alone, let the kid do what he's doing. It's not too much to ask for. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.